Hello folks, the old deplorable basket case here. There's probably some people seeing the seeing the title of this thinking, Why are you saying that? You shouldn't be saying that. You shouldn't be saying that healthcare is a right. You're a deplorable basket case. You're not supposed to think that. And it's true. I am a deplorable basket case, and I do think that healthcare is a right. It is not a right that is enshrined in the Constitution. It's not it's not. But the Ninth Amendment reads, The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. It's a very important amendment. Now, um, I don't know of anyone who would argue that the right to get the health care that you require is not a right that is retained by people in the U.S. And in some other countries, I shouldn't name names, maybe not so much, but in the U.S., I don't know anyone who would argue that. But, um, what does this mean exactly, having a right to something? It's an important question. Now, how do we find that out? How do we find out what have it, the, having a right to something means constitutionally? Well, let's look at the Constitution. Let's look at the rights that are enshrined in the Constitution. The First Amendment reads, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. So the First Amendment is a list of things that the government is not allowed to do to you. The government is not allowed to <clears throat> force a religion on you, or prevent you from exercising your religion, and it's also a list of things that you are allowed to do. So things not allowed to be done to you, th things that you are free from needing to worry about, and things that you are free to do. That's what the First Amendment is. What about the other amendments? Well, the Second Amendment is a little more controversial. But the, okay, the ending goes, The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So, what exactly constitutes infringing on this right is open for debate. Having a license versus not having a license for... No, no other debate. I'm not getting into that now. But again, it says here, it's something that is not allowed to be done to you. You're not allowed to be, the government is not allowed to prevent you from doing this. Moving on, the Third Amendment. No soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner. So this is a thing that is not allowed to be done to you. Um, you, ha you are, have the right to do a thing. You can give your consent or refuse your consent to allow soldiers to be quartered in your house. Um, move on to the Fourth Amendment. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and, searches and seizures shall not be violated. Again, something that is not allowed to be done to you. It is a thing you're allowed to do. You're allowed to re refuse permission to someone to search or seize your person, house, papers, or effects without due process of law. Uh, Fifth Amendment. Okay, you're not allowed to be. You cannot be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against yourself. You can, cannot be compelled to give testimony. The government is not allowed to do that to you. You you have the, have the right to do a thing. You have the right to give consent or to consent to give testimony or refuse to consent to give testimony. And it goes on. Okay, so constitutionally speaking. A right is something you are allowed to do. It is something that uh, that other people are not allowed to prevent you from doing. That's what a right is. So I say healthcare is a right. So if some government, state, federal, local, whatever, passes a law that, for example, prevents people with broken knees from getting surgery on their knees, that's a bad law. I would fight against that law tooth and nail. Um, I don't know of any law like that in the U.S. If you do know of a law like that in the U.S., please tell me so I can so I can fight against it tooth and nail. <laughs> but um, I do not mean healthcare in the right as is a right in the same way that say Bernie Sanders, for example, says healthcare is a right. You keep using this word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Great movie, so quotable. No other rights to, to to free speech. This means that I can say whatever I want. This does not mean that anyone is required by law to give me a forum in which to speak. So, is there a precedent, though, requiring a government to provide something 
to, to the people because it's their right. Yes, there is, in fact. It's in the, the Sixth Amendment, I believe. The Sixth Amendment? Yes. <clears throat> um, rights of accused persons in criminal cases. Um, skip that bit. Um, <clears throat> um, if you're on trial, you have the right to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against you, to have compulsory, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in your defense, and to have the assistance of counsel for your defense. Now, I forget which uh, Supreme Court ruling it was. I think it was in the past 50 years or so. Uh, for, for a long time, the Sixth Amendment, the right to have assistance, assistance of counsel, was interpreted as meaning that you have the right to hire a lawyer. The, no government has the right to prevent you from having a lawyer. It was not interpreted for over 100 years, 150 years or so. It was not interpreted as meaning that the government is required to provide you with a lawyer. But it was reinterpreted. And I think this was a good this was a good thing. Because yes, there are people who cannot afford a lawyer. So so now a state government is required to provide a lawyer from from, from their public public defense, public counsel uh, public defender's office. So there is this precedent. There is a precedent for government being required to provide something to people because it is their right. <clears throat> Does this precedent apply to universal health care? That's a fascinating question. I would love to debate that question. I would love to see people debating that question, but no one is. No one is debating that question. So I ask you, debate this question with me. Comment below. Talk with me. Make a video. Maybe we could Skype. I have a Skype account now. Um, so, let's talk. I want to talk. And everyone watching this, thank you for watching this. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Have a good day, and God bless.